Chronic central serous chorioretinopathy, or CSCR, can be challenging to treat. Photodynamic therapy is the mainstay choice for treatment, but its success has been hampered by complications, limited availability, and high costs. One alternative that can stabilize visual acuity and improve retinal sensitivity without incurring complications is microsecond pulse laser treatment. But few studies have directly compared this option against photodynamic therapy. To identify the more effective choice, researchers examined the anatomical outcomes produced by photodynamic therapy and a special navigated microsecond pulse laser for managing CSCR. The Navalis, navigated retina laser, uses a 577 nanometer wavelength, along with pre-planning and full eye tracking for retinal threshold and subthreshold laser therapy. These features enable precise and complete treatment of lesions that are ophthalmoscopically invisible, such as those observed in CSCR. Planning for the navigated microsecond pulse laser treatment involved placing a high-density grid just over the area of focal leakage. Treatment was then performed using a 5% duty cycle with a 100 micron spot size and a 200 millisecond envelope. Image-guided full eye tracking was also performed to ensure targeted application of laser spots. For the photodynamic therapy, areas of choroidal hyperpermeability were treated at the posterior pull on endocyanine angiography patients. In addition to BCVA and several follow-up imaging methods, spectral domain OCT scans were retrospectively reviewed before, as well as three and six months after either microsecond pulse laser or photodynamic treatment for 45 eyes from 39 subjects with chronic CSCR. The primary outcome included changes in best corrected visual acuity and central macular thickness. At the end of the six-month follow-up period, those treated with the navigated microsecond pulse laser showed significantly better visual acuity than those treated with photodynamic therapy. They also had a significant reduction in central macular thickness. Even more strikingly, approximately 59% of the eyes treated with the navigated microsecond pulse laser therapy exhibited complete resolution of the subretinal fluid compared to just 22% of the photodynamic therapy group. Although it's been previously reported that conventional microsecond pulse laser treatment can outperform photodynamic therapy, these results are the first to demonstrate that the use of navigated microsecond pulse laser therapy produces statistically significant improvements in treatment outcomes for eyes with CSCR. Thanks to precise pre-planning, navigated laser delivery, and digital documentation, the navigated microsecond pulse laser treatment has demonstrated a level of superiority that suggests the technique as a viable therapeutic option for managing this difficult condition.